Hello and welcome to a new episode from our series of short vids about the books here in the Iron Library. Uh, today in focus is Georges Agricola, particularly his book De Re Metallica. Uh, Agricola is the Latinized form of Georg Bauer and he was born in Glauchau, Saxony in 1494. Uh, he studied at Leipzig and Chemnitz and initially was in the field of ancient languages and the classics through which he gained an interest in ancient science and medical writings of Galen. So eventually training as a physician, Agricola settled in Chemnitz, but he found that his work allowed him ample time for further pursuits, private study. And so he launched a career that was to make him, I think, into the epitome of what we would call the Renaissance man. And by his death in 1555, he had published over 40 works, um, complete scholarly works on subjects as diverse as medicine, meteorology, mercantilism, pharmacology, and philosophy, but also geology, history, and metallurgy. And uh, quite a few of these can be found here in the Iron Library. It's quite an extensive collection. And Dere Metallica is the best known of his works. It was his greatest. And it was published actually in 1556, one year after his death. So Chemnitz, uh, near the Erzgebirge, the Ore Mountains, had a thriving mining and metallurgy industry, which had long fascinated the author and featured in his earlier writing. De Re Metallica brought together the knowledge imparted in many of his earlier works and presented them with an extensive systematic and structured manner, uh, giving a very detailed overview of mining, metallurgy and metals processing. It's the earliest known work of its kind and by far the most expansive due to the author's insistence to include and precisely convey what he saw as all factual knowledge and by far the most eye-catching feature of the work are its 292 woodcuts. For the time, these were highly technical illustrations and unprecedented in their detail, and they can bring the imp impressive array of engineered solutions to the enormous technical challenges, uh, through from mining and its logistics to the organization of ore processing equipment and foundries. And immediately noticeable is the extent of mechanization, at least in what is an idealized portrayal of the industry. Seen in context, it was a very timely work. Uh, Europe at the time was convulsing with the instability caused by the Reformation, the wars of religion, or against the Ottoman Empire. And coupled with the expansion of maritime trade, there was incredible demand for metals. So De Re Metallica was a very timely and welcome source of inspiration for those wishing to improve industry, and for whom it functioned as a sort of best practices guide of great quality. So Agricola wanted to assure readers of the quality of the book, and he did so by stating in the preface that he had excluded all of those things that he himself had not seen or carefully considered after hearing of them. And its qualities became very apparent for many readers, and it was translated very quickly from the original Latin edition into German, uh, then into French and Italian. And it took, however, until 1912 for the book to actually be published in English for the first time. And its translators were Herbert Clark Hoover, later President of the United States, and his wife, Lou Henry Hoover, who was a very talented geologist and also linguist. So, hope you found this interesting. Thanks for watching, and uh, see you again next time.